everyone, I'm Alison, freelance fitness instructor with Active Sterling. I'm here today as part of our campaign, it's keep active at home and stay well. Today I'm just going to bring you a few short and simple exercises that you can do in your own home, either on your own or with some of your family members, why not even let the kids join in. What I would like you to try and do is aim to do the exercises three times a week or as often as you can. A mat is optional. You'll definitely need water and just make sure that your heating's turned down, especially this week because we're going to get the heart rate up a bit. Make sure you take extra care if you have any pre-existing injuries. Just pull back. I'll give options and just adapt them to suit yourself. Follow us on Facebook and we'll bring you new workouts and ideas every week. Okay, we'll get started with a gentle warm-up. We've got six rounds of work to get the heart rate up, to really get those legs and core firing today. Um, and it should only last about 20 minutes or so, and we'll safely bring the heart rate back down and finish off with a stretch for you. All right, enjoy everyone. with your toes and I'll show you quickly here. Knee open in line with toes and your shoulders are back and down. Do a few more of those for me. Your next move being a walk out plank and just a hold. So bend the knees into a squat, creep forward, hands under shoulders, brace, walk back, bend your knees, lift the chest, stand up. Pull the chest forward, keep it open, and back. If that's too much for you, you just walk out, drop down onto the knees, and walk back up. Hips back and down. Do this at your own speed. Back up. Keep going with those just now. We're going to move into feet wide to squat, reaching to the floor, then reaching up to the ceiling. Start to come up onto your tiptoes. You will need to brace your abs nice and hard here for good balance. So tighten, push up through the chest, squeezing the calves and the thighs as you reach up, pulling your shoulders back and down in towards your spine and making sure that as you come down to squat that you're not dropping through that chest. Keep a nice straight back. Down. And up. Okay, let's start that again from your squats. Just one more time to get us nice and warm. Bicep curl arm, hands on your hips, or adding that good forward reach to shoulder height. Keeping the movements nice and smooth, dropping the hips to just above knee level. You can do this round slightly faster to get the heart rate up 
just that bit higher. Your next one's your side-stepping lunges. I'm trying not to chop off my head coming too close to that camera. Push. Push. Or the reach down and then there's an alternative that I gave you. Still not rounding your spine and keeping your chest up. Step out a little bit wider. Feel that leg stretch through the inner thigh as you go. Push your hips back more. No rotation. Your backward step and lunge is coming up next. So long step back. You can do a cross half pull arms, squeezing between the shoulder blades. Or back to that lift up. Think knee lower, think reach higher. Tap back on the right, tap back on the left. Checking knee again is in line with your toe. You're not rolling inwards and you're also not pulling your weight forward over that knee. Really bend that back knee down. Okay, walk out plank and just a hold. So the knees is optional. Walk down, come right forward onto those toes. Keep going, no hips in the air, no arch backs, nice and strong. Walk back. If you can do just a few, chin off the chest, looking ahead of those fingertips. And if you give me one more. Set up your squat reach next. Squat and push. And tipping forward. Lift. Folks, we're going to work the timer on the next one. Your exercise timing is 30 seconds. A short 15 second recovery time through six blocks of work. Give me some rolls forward through your shoulders. Where you're standing. If you need to, grab a quick drink of water. I'll let you have recovery whenever you need. Grab water whenever you need. Keep up with me where you can. Alright, your first move everyone. Four squats on the squat and a jog. Okay, here it comes. You can add plyometric moves at any time, so watch out for those. And we are in a squat, so it's a little pulse. Four times knees out. Light jog to begin. Back straight. So we did our squats earlier. This time turn your toes and your knees out more. You can add on a small jump. Heels up at the back. Good, we'll take a short recovery. Next time, the option is just to march. Keep it grounded with no jump. You can keep the plyometric jump, folks. You can add on a high knee run. And that goes for the kids as well. I'm sure they're full of energy. All right, four, three, two, taking it to high knee run. So back nice and straight. Bend your knees as much as you can for a squat. One squat, one lunge. Deep 
deeper squat, deeper lunge, knee close to floor, short recovery. You guessed it, next time we'll go plyometric. So add in the jump if you can, or keep it with a light step. If the lunges aren't for you, how about just a squat and a shuffle on the spot. Here comes the jumps. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Have a look at how the weight doesn't pull forward. Down, back, down. Faster to add more intensity. If it all gets too much, you're back here, okay? Kids or adults, your option, remember? Whatever you can do today. We're gonna do that one more round. There's your rest. Quick drink of water if you need to. Keeping it basic again with one squat and one lunge. If you want, a reach and a pull down on that lunge. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge. In the back knee, yeah? Reach and pull. Go. Single arm lift up, also a choice. Keep moving, those thighs should be on fire by now, everyone. Five seconds, keep it up, keep it up, keep going, and recover. Okay, quick drink, that's exercise two. You've got four more to go. Your next one, we're gonna take it down to the floor, do two wide push-ups, and four mountain climbers. So knees or toes, start off on the knees, Chest to elbow level, elbows are wide. Two, and then four stones. Brace, if you're ready to pick it up. Keep the legs straight, keep the weight forward. On the knees, choice. If the tap's too much, just hold a plank at the top. All right, good, there's your rest. If you need it, stretch back. We're going again. Turn off chest and breathe. Weight forward again. Knees or toes. Guys, I'll quickly show you a box press. Just if you need to, it's knees on your hips. Two. And then your four stops. You can tap the toes out and in. Picking it up where you can. Straight leg. Light tap. Whole body moves as one. March back. Chin off chest. The next time we go, you've got the option to do four press ups a little bit faster and eight stomps. Okay, if you can, here we are. One, two, three, four. Good job. Okay, short recovery. Moving on to your next one. Your next one is burpees, everybody's favorite. Short rounds, 30 seconds of work, walking burpee or burpee with the jump. Legs nice, hip distance apart, the knees soft. Four count move. When we're ready, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Walking option, hands to floor, walk back to plank, walk in and up. Keep the hips level with shoulders. Good job, we short rest. Whew. Good. We're getting ready to go again. Whew. Ready to go again. And let's move. Squat, light landing, jump up. Hands up our head in that jump up. Push, soft knees and take off and then land everyone. Okay, keep going. How many more can you fit in? Who's going faster than me? Who's jumping nice and high, squeezing the legs when you're in the air? Big strong lift up and recover. One more time, so it's only one more time through. If you like to, this time you can add on a tuck jump. It's optional, find the move that's right for you. 
Soft knee landing. Whew, here we go. Or jump up. Or walk back. And the three options, what suits you best? Keep the intensity high. Keep going fast. Keep the heart rate elevated. You should be huffing and puffing by now. After this, you're going to need a quick drink of water. So let's go now. Quick drink. Into your next combination. It's still keeping the heart rate high. It's a squat kick. Deep squat. Kick on the right. Kick on the left. Butt back. Squat. Push. So opposite arm and leg on that drive forward. Try and get the shoe to leave the floor every time if you can. Otherwise low, as long as it's wide, the knees where they should be. Point the toe, extend the leg in that kick. Keep your hips back, drive through. Slow or quick, hip shoulders level. Good, short recovery. Whew. Keeping up well so far, I'm sure. The little ones, are they keeping up? Oh, here we go. Squat, push. Down and up. Drive off both feet in that jump. Push, squeeze. Chest up, legs on fire. Core, nice and tight. Supporting your lower back as you drop into that squat nice and low. Keep it going. Oh, just in time with that buzzer. I bet your heart is racing. Can you do one more block? You're gonna have to stand up because we're going again. Going again. With or without the jump. Oh, and deep squat kick through. Or how about do a couple? Couple without it being the rest. And then push again. We're nearly done, everyone. Oh, and rest right there. Rest right there. Go and get yourself another quick drink of water. We need these recoveries if you're working hard. Super job. Last one, down on the floor. So the buzzer goes next time. We've got mountain climbers. Start off on the knees, bring the weight forward. That's going to drop the hips. Again, no hips on the floor, no butts in the air. And this time when we recover, I just want you to come into a hover position. Breathing. If you need to take a rest, simply slip back. Now hover down your elbows. Knees optional. Pull them up whenever you can. Pull weight forward. Have a look. Your elbows directly under your shoulder. Chest is open. Back up to your mountain climbers. 30 seconds and we'll rest. Faster this time if you can. Do a few drops of the knees if you need to. Keep going. Bring the knee a little bit closer. Try not to bounce up and down through those hips. Keep the torso nice and tight. Breathe in as we work. And rest. Or something new. I want to sit up for a moment. I'm going to do it one more time. This time we start with a hover hold. Short section in mountain climbers. Back to your hover hold to finish off. Alright. It's just about taking us to 20 minutes. Here we come, down to hover, feet apart, or harder, bring the feet together, easier on your knees. The moment you feel it on your lower back is a sign that you need to pull back onto those knees. Back heels to your stomach, nice and tight, chin up chest, look ahead of those knuckles. Pull the elbows in, squeeze the thighs nice and tight. 
Coming up onto your hands soon. Mountain climbers, 15 seconds only. Up you come. Fast or slow. If your feet feel like they're sliding, it's your weight too far back. Pull in. And down to the elbows. 30 seconds to finish off. Hold right here. Oh, I don't know about you, but my abs are burning. Sit back, hold option. Come back to work as soon as you can. Breathe. Try and relax your breathing. You can actually hear that heart beating. Hold. Ouch. Brace. And well done. Sit back. Oh. Some more time. And up to finish off with just a wee short stretch and stand. Amazing work today. All right, let's turn that timer off. Can't be using that anymore. Lift a foot, hold on to something if you need to. Do a quad stretch, pulling up and through the chest. Knees together, lightly. Squeeze those thighs together, tuck the hips under. A little bit so you feel a light pull down the front of the leg, squeezing between the shoulder blades and change to the other side. Let's keep it simple, just repeat it from the other side. Hands to the side, we need to have a balance. Lift up nice and tall. Oh. I think next time we do a workout, it will be most on my strength. Let's keep switching out, folks. Hamstring stretch, sit your hips back and down. Keep your head above your heart, chest lifted. Slide your hips away from you. Option to lift the toes of the front of the foot, feeling the stretch right at the back of that leg there, and just swap to the other side. Bend the back knee, have a look at how I'm not rounding it out through my back or dropping through my chest, and the stretch is all in the back of that leg. Squeeze the hips. Good one. Okay, with a long step back, place the heel onto the ground, the back foot, toes are forward. You're bending your front knee, your back, it's in that nice straight line. You can't get the heel down onto the ground, just step in a wee touch, and you're feeling that stretch right down the calves, lower part of the leg, back of the leg. Step and change. Heel to the floor, belly in, chest elevated. Heart rate is starting to come back down. Just take some nice deep breaths. Folks, good work. Okay, we shoulder stretch. Arm pulls across in front of the body. Level the shoulders off. Cross hands and step it over to the side. Light pull across. Feel the stretch right down the side of your body. Lengthen through those arms. Push the hands away. And step wide. Shoulder stretch. And over to the side, up and over. Glad that's over. That was intense for a wee 20 minutes. Sometimes when you sit down and watch it, it looks quite easy. But get stuck into the workout and you will feel those moves. Folks, we chest stretch and back stretch to finish off. So pull those hands out to the side. Thumbs up, elbows down, squeezing the elbows in. And just a wee stretch for that back. Rounded through the upper back. Tuck the chin in, pull the belly in. Rounded elbows, push forward. And then simply reach straight up, all the way up to the ceiling. Deep breaths. And give yourselves a massive, massive well done for completing that tonight. Thanks everyone. I'll see you next time.